Greg Pettis here with NatureSide. I'm here with my good friend, Callie from the Pest Posse. And we're talking about the 2019 Florida Mosquito Control Association's journal. Now in this journal, we found out that NatureSide products outperformed all other products, traditional and natural products. Yeah. And so uh, it's kind of cool because um, you wouldn't expect that in a room like we're in right here that you could have an all natural product line that could just decimate mosquitoes like it did. Right, I agree. And the thing is, is you gotta, like I always explain to people because I run a green program with NatureSide as one of those elements. This is not EPA registered. This right. is exempt right. and you, you were competing and didn't know it. We didn't know, so that's that's an interesting point, Collie. So we, we had no idea that this survey was actually happening. They did it in the lab and they did it also out in the field. And so, you know, I, I, I was joking earlier, I said, what do you do when the fish are jumping in the boat, right? So uh, the, the one section here, it said, it says it was surprising that nature side as an outdoor residual treatment in this study demonstrates that botanically based formulations are ready to be investigated further and possibly incorporated operationally into mosquito control programs. And again, this is the Mos Mosquito Control Association's journal. So we weren't looking for this information uh, at all. We didn't even know the study was happening, uh, but it just shows that there is a place for all natural products. And, and they were surprised, which, which is really right. interesting. So, Obviously, we just said that. <laughs> yeah, and so you've been a user for a while, so you, yeah. you know, you know what we found out in that yeah. the, the products were uh, not in that they smell good, yeah. but um, you know it was a real pleasant surprise for us because what what do you do when you're used to using all these traditional products and all of a sudden you know an organization like this comes along and says hey guys you really got something so do you have anything that you wanted to add to that? No, I just think one of the things that you know we're at the Pest Posse we're big on essential oils. Um, we really think these are really should be the wave of the future. And part of the reason for that is, you know, this product especially, I mean, this is my go-to fleet control product. I mean, I'm talking bulletproof fleet control product. Um, so, you know, solution. You still have to use an IGR, but your but you're adult aside, why would you want to go into a house with a normal EPA registered product when you can go in with an exempt product okay. as your adult okay. size? That's right. You know, right. and get control and do it at a reasonable price. Right. You know, yeah. um, we were talking, I actually use a lot lower rates and get success yeah. than what your label typically recommends. So it's funny that you said that because the all purpose here, we started putting this in a squeeze and pour bottle because of that. You know, the label rate on this was 13 ounces per gallon, but the Mosquito Control Association used it at two ounces per gallon in a backpack mister. And you know from doing mosquito work, you usually go higher, right, in a, right. In a mister because you're using air as the carrier. Right. And so in this situation, we were like, okay, you went like five times under the label rate and it worked better and outperformed everything in this room. So yeah. we were kind of surprised by that, but uh, I know that you're doing the same thing yeah. and we are also. And I know so, you were shocked when yeah. I told you yeah. that. And you literally laughed because you kind of, part of you couldn't believe that I was getting <laughs> that kind of success. Yeah. yeah. And I'm talking, when I say success, I mean no callbacks. I don't have to make an extra visit and spend extra money. And who can't love that? No. You just can't go wrong. And the nice thing, I mean, I always tell people, I say, listen, if you're in pest control and you use nature side products and you get in trouble, you shouldn't be in pest control. I mean, it's it's just that good of a product yeah. line. And, you know, the, the EPA exempt factor to it is 25B, which means that uh, there's no EPA number. And in some states like New York, uh, you don't need to notify the neighbors that you're coming because that's a requirement in that state. And, wow. and if they use nature side products, you don't have to notify the neighbor, and that's that's, that's a, a big money save. It is. I mean, we have to in Pennsylvania with the hypersensitivity law, you know, and of course we honor that. But to think if we had to do the every single route that we ran every day, tell the neighbors we were coming, it's just a pain. Yeah. So, um, so it's kind of cool that if you're in New York, you don't have to uh, notify the neighbors for the 25 new product. Line. There's a lot of other benefits. So. Anyway, so is there anything that you'd like to say? Finish the only other thing I like to point out is even though this is an oil, 
you're not going to be burning plants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're in a hot area, you know, water can burn plants, depending upon the type of plants it is. Yeah. But when you add an oil, you're, a lot of products, you're even going to make that worse. But with these essential oils, it's not an issue. You're not going to be burning people's, you know, yeah, we their tropical that. life, That's you know. Right. But you are obviously going to be getting control of your mosquitoes. Yeah, well, one of the things that was interesting when I first learned about NatureSide, these guys are a service company first, and they were using a pressure washer, hitting flower beds and everything on them. Oh, my gosh, you can do that to a flower bed with a product like that and not worry about it burning. Right. Which is sort of a miracle. Right. You know, what happens with some other products. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. It's... It's not always a happy ending. Well, so. and I should kind of put a caveat on that. I have used essential oil products, not nature side, that burned African ivy. I could spray Roundup on African ivy and not touch it. But the, but the essential oils, you, I could see my spray pattern when I went back for the next service. And I was like, why did the customer not complain? <laughs> was that at Don't Ask Don't Tell? Yeah. So, <laughs> That's saying something, you know. Um, that that can be a real big deal. Well, thanks, Coley. Appreciate it. it. Was good running into you and uh, oh yeah, we're here. We love nature got, side, you know, I, and I uh, appreciate what you guys are doing in the yeah. industry. Yeah. So I was glad. So we're we're at the Arizona Pest Management Association's uh, Great Western Conference. It's an annual conference, and it's a good show. So uh, we'll be here today and tomorrow. And thanks for joining us.